Another day, another dollar. We already got the MRS inside. We already took the motor off the white Celica. White Celica's out there. So, yeah, let's start taking off these tires, lifting up the car, and then start unbolting stuff. <clears throat> um, and we're pretty much going to drop the subframe. take off the bumper right now that's the reason why i took out the wheel you have a size 10 right here and then you got a bunch of clips right here up here so you got a couple one two three four five and then we might have to take off some of the wheel well that's connected probably with clips also <laughs> Bumpers off. You do have to take off the headlights. You got a screw right here, a and tap. a screw right there, and a little clipper tap, and then another tap right here, and of course your license plate lights. And we were, we were able to take it off with the plate still on it. Plate you on it. Pick up and back out. It makes it easier if you take it off. So it's already done. So. Next thing is probably what are you gonna work on, Mark? Um, either caliber stuff down here in the bottom and suspension arms, or start taking off all these little things right here to pull up the crash bar and exhaust. Yeah, so we gotta take out the crash bar. These are like 17 four, 14s. 14s up in here. You got three up right here, here, up in here, three right here, and then we do have to remove all these little clips right here. So we already took off the wire harness right here. We do took off the support bars that go right here. So a 10 right there, not a 10 bolt right here. Same thing on the other side. Same thing. Now we're taking off the heat shield, size 10, size 10, size, size 10. 10 right there. This should come off real quick. And then after that, we do have to remove um, the exhaust hanger right here um, because this crash bar is coming off. So some WD-40, pull it out. Funny joke for y'all. Y'all remember Pokemon when not enough PP for this move? Short socket, not enough PP for this move. Bigger PP. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they're supposed to be 14s, one of them 17s. We do have to remove uh, this little clip for the O2 sensor right here. Um, that was being a pain in the butt, but we got it out. So, crash bar is already out. Now we gotta take out the exhaust system. Um, Mark is unplugging the O2 sensor right here. And we're gonna unclip it from here because we don't wanna risk the, uh, the risk of actually stripping this O2 sensor. Plus, uh, my girl ended up taking my O2 socket, uh, the, the tool. So we gotta take that one, take a bolt. This one's easy. Just take a bolt for the hanger. That one over there and um, I'm gonna start disconnecting it from the exhaust over there. So that way this whole thing comes in one piece. Um, and then we have another hanger down here. So 
yeah, I forgot to mention you guys. Uh, there's two nuts, one right there, another one right there, and then you have that bolt right there. I forgot to take off that bolt. That's why I was down there. Those are 14s. Now we're gonna take off these heat shields right here, which is a bunch of 10s. You got 10. Oh, actually, these look like 12 right here. 12, 12, 10, 10, 10. Um, and then you got another 10 right here. So take those heat shields right now. We're gonna take off the header. Same thing as we did for the exhaust. We're just gonna unclip the O2 sensors, O2 sensors over here. So, um, you know what? Yeah. We do have to take them off. What? Cause we're gonna put the other header. Oh shit. But we'll do that later because I don't have the tool for it. My girl actually took it to work. So, um. Oh, you can install those later, it doesn't matter. I'll install those later on tonight when she comes. I'll take them off and install them on the other header. So we're gonna do that, take off the header, which we'll probably have to take off the heat shield. And 14 or 12? 12. Those are 12s. So 12, 12, 12 right there. Another 12 to up here. Um, 12. Oh, yeah, that's a 10, that's the first time. 10 right there. There's supposed to be another 10 right here, I believe so, it's broken. Um, he should, should come off and we're able to get to the header. Then you do have a bracket. Let me show you guys. Down here. Oh, it has like a top too? Yeah, the two bracket. Them. So you got a bracket right there. And then another one over here, which those look like 14s. So let's take those off and take this header off. Or you could take it from over there. It's up to you. <laughs> So we got Mark taking off the battery right now. Oh, you're Couple of ten. Too. Well, you started doing it. This is easy, actually. It's cool. You just put this in like that, and it just makes it pushes down, and this is your tension right here. So he's gonna do that one. Might as well do the starter also right there, the fuse box right there. Um, be stupid. I'm gonna start taking off the sh um, shifter cables off. So there's one right there, just to pin out. Other one's down there, uh, another pin, and then, then I'm either gonna take off that bracket off of there or just take off the, this, pull it up with the screwdriver and it should come off. What do you So there they are, the cables are off. It's a little pain in the butt because you don't got that much room. But you pull up and you see these little tabs right here. You gotta pull them out because they're gonna get stuck right there. So you gotta pull them out and push them in on the other side. And then they slide off. So that's off already. Mark already took off the battery and the battery tray right here. Yeah, now yeah. he's over here working on the ECU. I'm plugging got that it. that little part off. So this is gonna come off. Once you open your little, we wanna call this glove box, trunk storage thing. You have a bunch of little pins you can pull out. Basically your ECU is on this side hugging right here. So you gotta remove these plastic trays in here, plastic in here to access it. Yes sir. Bunch of 10 millimeters I hope, or 11. So, while Mark is over there trying to figure out how to take off the ECU or yeah. unplug the ECU, that you have to take out all those covers over there. I'm going to take off the throttle body cable. So, it's just right here. Um, probably size 10s on the other side. Probably? Yeah. Or maybe 11s because this car is weird. Um, and then just unhook it from the throttle body. And that's that. As far as lines, we have a coolant line right here. This one has to get disconnected. This one also right here, but I'm not gonna do that right now um, because I always leave the coolant for last. And this is the starter that goes right here. What the hell? Um, and then when Mark disconnects that ECU from over there, we're able to pull all this wire harness, leave all the these connectors and wires connected. Um, and as far as over here, that's all we have, a motor mount right there. 
this one we might not have to take off because we're taking off the um, cross member so and then later on I'll start working in the back over there and later do the sides I'll do one side mark will do the other side that way you guys get some footage on that um, so let me work on that first and then move on to the next so i already disconnected these three hoses right here one two three um they're fairly easy i also disconnected the ground which is this ground that goes here so you could disconnect it from here and take this clip off or do what i did disconnect the 10 right here um and then there's a clip right here and that's for the negative bat battery terminal which is this one right here um so i don't have to worry about that i just need those cool, two cooling lines on this side i'm gonna start working in the back mark is still working in the ecu right yeah. here want to give him a glimpse yeah oh. here i got your flashlight even better Sheesh. so it's pretty simple you just gotta push both seats up forward drop that side so you can pull up this plastic tray right here luckily toyota gave you a little flap so you don't gotta move the whole entire velvet thing you can just flap it open move the ecu pins remove looks like uh possibly air sensor pins over here and then i'll push it through the firewall one thing i forgot also there is the o2 sensor that came up here you do have to disconnect it i forgot where i put it so it actually clips on here and then it goes through here and it clips right here on the side so you do have to remove it because that's connected to the wire harness over there so luckily i caught on to that one um i'm i'm not sure if no that one's not connected so don't worry about this one but not for real let's start working on the back <laughs> so now we're down here uh, i forgot to take out the serpentine belt so mark is already in the top trying to do that for me um so actually this condenser actually has four bolts oh, uh, compressor um fuck condenser my bad compressor Con I, you know what i meant <laughs> um so this one has four bolts i'm pretty sure they're 12s two right here two more on the top it's kind of hard these these are gonna be a pin but but i could feel them probably can't see them um then from there i'm gonna take off the fuel line the fuel line should be fairly easy it's this one right here um and then we do have to take off this sleeve cylinder that's oh, just fucking big birthday you son of a just bitch. right here um that big, big a, cup, hit me. a couple of 12s i think up in the top so the ones that's off i think that's all we need from back here and the motor mount but the oh, motor mount is the last the grab the belt oh there okay mark got the belt out thank you um roger roger uh you uh, got the tool stuck way to go mark way to go Okay, so the compressor is already taken off. Uh, these bolts have to stay on because they won't come out fully. The top one did. Uh, slave cylinder is also off. And the fuel line is off right there also. <coughs> so Mark. Mark is over there still trying to figure out how to take out the axle. No, uh, bitch, I'm stuck right here. I can't. I'm, 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 I'm stuck. <laughs> I fall and I can't get up. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll walk you guys on the other side of what we're going to do. We're going to take off the axles because um, we don't want to do it when the, when we drop the whole motor in the sun frame. So, yeah. so whoa, 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 whoa. motor's almost out. Uh, we just got to take out the axles. So it's going to be easier right now. 
Um, I'm gonna do this side. Uh, we still need the sway bar to take off, um, but I'm gonna remove the caliper, but first I'm gonna remove the axle nut since we're taking the axle. What the hell? Um, so taking out the axle, taking off the caliper, taking off the ABS sensor right here, and actually taking off these two bolts right here. Um, and already taking out the two bolts over there for the axle. Mark already did the other side. So let's get it. So I'm already done on this side, except for you can take off the sway bar, but just walk you guys through it. Um, took off the axle nut, which was a size 32, I believe. Um, took off the ABS, it goes right here, 10, uh, 10 right there. Um, plug it from right here. Um, and that's the ABS sensor right there. You got 17s here in the back of the caliper. Um, supposed to be 17 that was 17 this one ended up being a 19 so yeah and then you have i disconnected it from the tire um uh, lower control arm which um was a 17 also um, and that one was right here and as you can see it's already on the ground i'm gonna take the axle off right now and do this one it's probably a 12 or 14 and then down here is two other bolts right here those two right there which are 14 i believe take these two you have another two over there same thing with the end link and the sway bar should come out and later on we'll do the subframe the subframe has only like four bolts 17s and they're right here one two two on the other side so I'm gonna do those real quick and get ready to drop this motor. So, sway bars are already out. Um, the only thing that's left, cooling lines and motor mounts. So we're gonna do cooling lines first, which this one right here and that one over there. I think that's about it. And then comes the fun part. So motor's out, onesies out. Um, let me walk you guys through it, what I did, because I was just trying to get it done. And you know, we forgot this hose right here, this one right here. Uh, oh, we, oh. yeah. So we ended up taking the rear mount first, this one right here, which is a size 17 in here, which is this one right here, a 17. I'll put it back later but we also have to take off the bracket off the off the transmission because it's inside here um and this one was already fucked up i didn't fuck it up i swear uh, okay. so that's why you're it, you need to take out the bracket unless you want to take it off from here and bleed it later which i ain't down to bleed mrs or mr2s because they're a pain in the butt my little brother has one so that's the reason why we took out the brake calipers then from there we just ended up taking off uh the motor mount on here this probably is not oem but it should be 14 or uh, that one's a 13 but yours should be a 14 maybe a 12 then over here we have a 17 in the top for this motor mount and then three size 14s in the bottom nuts so these comes off we took off the bracket 
Then from there, we moved on to the 17s on the subframe right here. Dropped it. Later on, we ended up just taking off the other 17 for the motor mount right here. And you saw me just take out the subframe out and then we we're left with the motor only and we ended up sitting on the cherry picker and then pulling it out right now we'll probably lift it up again set it set it up like standing up that way it's easier for us to work on because right now if you actually push it a little bit it'll probably tip over but that's it tomorrow we'll start swapping everything we need from this one zz to the one the two zzz oh zzz -Z 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 -Z. um so this pulley we need it um because you got no power steering so we yeah, need this pulley we might need a belt um hopefully the belt that this one has works um stuff like this <clears throat> on the 2zz we gotta put it on 2zz has lifted bolts uh broken lift bolts so we have to fix those we are gonna put a clutch on the 2zz so we gotta just take off take off the transmission off of it um but and then we gotta take this wire harness for sure we gotta take the wire harness we gotta take the inject the fuel rail we do have to swap the injectors. So little things here and there that we have to do tomorrow. I'll probably walk through it again.